As an evolving program is continually changed, its complexity reflecting deteriorating structure increases unless work is done to maintain or reduce it. This observation was made by Maya Lehman. Maya Manny Lehman made this observation in 1980. Just, just for purposes of calibration, 45 years ago, in 1980. Let me just take you back, and, and this was based on his work in the 70s. Let's go right back to 1980. The word legacy was not used. The word legacy did not appear in software developers' lexicon until 1989. The debt metaphor had yet to be created in 1992. People already knew that there was something going on here, but he systematically explored it. And what I like here is he's not saying it's because you're doing a bad job. Sometimes people sort of talk about technical debt and all this kind of stuff as you're doing a bad job. It's like, actually, no, he's saying it's an inevitable consequence. Deteriorating structure is what happens when you do anything unless you also do something else. If you're doing a really bad job, then yes, you will deteriorate faster. But even if you're doing the best work, it means you probably overlook something because you've got focus. There's something else you need to do. And that's really important. Whenever you change anything in a structure, your laser sharp focus, like that function, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my best practices on that function. The problem is you've overlooked the fact that perhaps that function is duplicated somewhere else. So now you've got, a, you've got an issue of two different versions. And this itself is brilliant, but there were other consequences. Or that there is now some dead code that you didn't notice. Or whatever, I don't know, that's the point, is you are so focused on this. Focus by definition means you're focused on something, by definition your attention is taken away from other things. And that's fine. But it basically says whenever you have any kind of structure and you do anything, even if it's the best thing, you've changed the structure. You've changed the thing that is, was in equilibrium and you must address time for that. It's part of the work. I normally use kind of like, a, I, I normally use a kitchen metaphor, but when I talk about this, but what was great is that in 2021, Yvonne Lamb solved my problem for me. My theory of tech debt is that housework is the correct metaphor for the thing we call tech debt, but we can't use it because tech has been made up of people who don't do housework or manage housework being done. If, if I had a physical microphone, I'd drop it at this point. She absolutely nailed it. And that's the point. If you lit the very act of living in your house causes it to be messy. And that's not necessarily because you are a messy person. Yes, it's worse if you are messier. But even if you're tidy, you have to put extra work into the very act of existing in that house. According to research, the more features are added to a system and the more complex those features are, the greater the room for technical debt, with the biggest jumps usually happening in bursts when new features are added quickly. And the consequences go beyond delays and releases, like with Knight Capital Group 2012, who pushed out a rushed and poorly managed update to their trading system, and within 45 minutes, lost over $440 million. Or Southwest Airlines 2022, their legacy crew scheduling system had been patched and patched for decades. It was brittle, outdated, and no one fixed it. The result? A complete operational meltdown. Thousands of flights cancelled, millions of passengers stranded, and reputational damage that might take years to fix, if not decades. Night Capital shows how technical debt can collapse a business in minutes, while Southwest shows how it can rot silently until one day the whole thing falls apart. So how do you keep it in check? One useful tool is the Technical Debt Ratio, or TDR. This metric compares the cost of fixing existing issues to the cost of building new features. And the formula is simple. TDR equals remediation cost over development cost, where if your TDR is below 5% you're in good shape, around 10% you're in warring territory, and once you're above 20, your team is basically standing still, spending more time cleaning up than moving forward. Now, you could calculate TDR manually through this short tutorial, but in a real project, manually tracking every issue and estimating remediation costs can be a little tricky. And that's where automated tools can help. Some code analysis platforms like SonarCube can scan your repository, highlight maintainability issues, and give you a rough TDR calculation. Now, the numbers may not be perfect, but they're useful for spotting trends, and more importantly, to be able to tell whether your code base is improving, or slowly accumulating more debt. Now, technical debt isn't just a metaphor. In some cases, it's of real and measurable cost. But whether you can accurately measure it or not, what actually matters is that systems are put in place to ensure that it doesn't get out of control. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.